Hello, everyone. The second part of episode 72 had been finally released a few days ago. And at this point, I've rewatched it a couple times more in order to find some secrets or interesting details that are really worthy of discussion, and I've found them. So today I'm going to discuss all the secrets and hidden moments that I didn't cover in my previous video. And I will answer the following questions. How exactly did G-Man trick and defeated Astro Toilet? How will Titan Cameraman use his new Lego hand in the future and what kind of danger may possibly await him? And most importantly, what's going to happen in the battle between G-Man and the trio of Titans in the next episode? Now get your tea and snacks ready and prepare to watch this video to the end because it's going to be really interesting, and let's go! But before I'll start speaking on the most interesting stuff, let's mention a couple of little funny things that I didn't pay attention while analyzing the episode a few days ago. For example, let's take a look at this blaster on the right hand of the Astro Emperor. And one of my subscribers mentioned that it looks really similar to the blaster hand that belonged to Godzilla in the movie called Godzilla vs. Kong. I watched this scene out of it, and it turned out that my subscriber was right, and this indeed seems to be a reference. Especially considering the fact that Boom liked Godzilla movie series a lot and he had already done a reference to this character before, although it was made in a form of a joke. And by the way guys, I'm always happy to see your comments where you write your own thoughts or see some references that you saw because it makes me even more sure that my community is the smartest on YouTube. And another fact I didn't describe fully enough before was connected to this epic scene where Titan Speaker Man appears and gifts to the Astro Emperor a few shots from his cannons that unfortunately didn't do any damage to him, so instead Astro sends him the taste of his own medicine. And although Titan Speaker Man dodges his slow attack easily, the blast wave turns out to be so strong that he still gets thrown to the ground from mid-air which is really concerning. Because mind that the Astro Emperor didn't even try to seriously fight in this scene as his goal was just to take his injured little bro and take him somewhere safe. Which means that when the time for the proper battle will come someday, the trio of our Titans will have it really tough, and they'll certainly be in need for additional upgrades in order to deal with this new huge guy successfully. And don't forget of the fact that Skibidi Toilets became much more powerful on their own as well and they developed tremendously thanks to the ideas of the late Skibidi scientist, and they have an even bigger potential to become even stronger. And now it's finally time to touch on some really intriguing and deep stuff. So I rewatched the episode a few times and realized two really important things. And the first thing is connected directly to the new abilities and strategic mind of G-Man and the way he actually defeated the Astro Toilet, who in his turn got to be really dumb and apparently blinded by his ignorance way too much. So let's return to the scene where Astro Toilet gets fooled around by G-Man like a little kid and then starts the process of self-destruction with two of his claws that caught the impulses containing some special juice. In my analysis of this episode, I initially said that Astro Toilet felt an effect that worked similar to the red glow produced by TV men's TV screens, which as you surely remember, made Skibidi and even cameramen unalive themselves forcefully, because the pain becomes absolutely unbearable and that there's a voice which appears inside of the victim's head and orders them to end themselves. But as I rewatched this scene, I realized that it was not that simple. And in fact, those events were even more terrifying in their nature as I initially thought. So at first, Jimmy sends a decoy impulse to the Astro, which he eats up without any issues whatsoever. And then he releases another impulse, which is induced with the purple glow, which is a mirrored technique of Titan TV Man's purple TV screen, which allows the owner to control its victim and make them do whatever the owner wants to. What happened to the Astro Toilet looked really similar to the third part of episode 67, where Skibidi scientist Puppet activated the purple screen in order to make the besotted Titan cameraman to fight his own friend. And in this scene, we could see how then an owner of this effect is in the process of controlling their victim. He doesn't move and stands still channeling the purple glow right at their target. And that's exactly what G-Man does too. He infects the Astro Toilet's claws with this capsule-like version of Purple Glow, which seems to be really innovate to me, by the way, because earlier in the series we only saw how Skibidi Toilets adapted or simply stole some of the Alliance's technology or techniques, but this time it's Skibidi Toilets who actually appropriated an idea and applied it to themselves in a really smart way. And I'm not even afraid to say that soon in this series, we'll see even more showcases of technological development of the Skibidi Army, that can even overpower the Alliance and get closer to the Astro Toilet fraction in that sense. 
So G-Man decided to simply have some really brutal fun with the Astro Toilet, who now got under his control via this plane trick. So he started controlling the claws of his enemy and make them damage their wearer. And as he does that, pay your attention to the way G-Man behaves in that moment. He stands still as he is supposed to do in such case, and watches his suffering enemy with an absolutely insane smile on his whole face without even blinking with his eyes. The whole scene looked really psychotic, and I got chills running down my spine when I both saw it for the first time and when I re-watched it as well. And also check out when Astro Toilet ripped two of his infected claws with the third one that wasn't affected by the purple glow impulse. G-Man can't control him any longer, so he gets ready to activate his lasers instead to finish off his damaged opponent for good. But as we know it perfectly clear at this point, his plans aren't meant to come into life due to the bigger threat appearing on the horizon. And as I mentioned the claws that were ripped off already, let's go to the second thing I'd really like to discuss with you guys today. And this thing is Titan Cameraman grabbing one of these claws from the ground and attaching it to his right hand. I think this action will definitely affect him in the nearest future, and not in the best of ways, unfortunately. And let me explain to you why. If all the previous pieces of LEGO that he used as alternatives for his right hand before were seemingly harmless and pretty effective, then taking one of Astro's claws is surely not the best move for him for two reasons exactly. The first one is that there's still a really high possibility for the remnants of G-Man's purple glow to remain inside of this claw which means that when the time to fight G-Man comes, Titan Cameraman will probably turn out to be in great danger. Just think about this. He already got under the effect of terrifying purple glow from Skibidi Scientist before, and at that time he nearly finished off his brother Titan Speakerman against his will before the eerie eyes of G-Man who was watching the whole show. So here's the second reason for Titan Cameraman to find himself in real danger pretty soon. Considering that G-Man already saw how Titan Cameraman is susceptible to the controlling glow effect, he could have taken an advantage of him once again and used the whole arsenal of the infected Astro's glow not only against the blue-lensed Chad himself, but against his whole team of comrades. Let's remember once again what this Astro's claw is capable of. Not only can it pull and throw different objects at extremely fast speed, but it also still has an ability to protect the wearer in a shield-like manner, to catch and re-channel different energetic impulses, to use its other combat forms and many other things. So just think about this for a moment. What do you think is about to happen when the Titan with such a mighty and tricky weapon in possession will get controlled by G-Man who will definitely fight for his dear life? Of course he's going to milk every opportunity to hurt the Titans that are chasing him and probably show them who's the boss in the house. So my prediction for the next battle between the trio of Titans and G-Man is that it's not going to be easy for anyone involved, and that we can even see some tragic sacrifices or losses in the process of it. And also, I'd like to mention that I really doubt for G-Man to lose that easily, especially after we saw him in such a fine state with lots of upgrades. I think he can have a chance to survive the battle, and even take some Titan's life instead and then we can see another mind-blowing plot twist that Boom has surely prepared for us. Because he told us multiple times already that he considers episodes 73 and 74 one of the most fire and epic episodes in the entire series. So we should definitely expect something extraordinary next time. I'm planning to create a separate video that's going to be dedicated to my predictions on what may take place in episode 73 because I have plenty to suggest and discuss. And don't forget that I always take into consideration your theories and ideas as well. So don't forget to join me on my Discord channel where you can easily communicate with me and with each other and have lots of fun as well. And that was all for today. I really hoped you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, then don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons not to miss my new videos. And be sure to write your own thoughts on the released episode in the comment section below. And that was me, Isotoilet. See ya!